At this time of the year, those leaves really start to come down off the trees. And it's important to get them off the grass as soon as you can, because wet leaves on grass means lack of light and disease starts to set in. The problem is, of course, what you do with them all. But actually, they're incredibly valuable and can give you the most wonderful compost and mulch for your beds and borders. But leaves don't break down that easily in compost. You know, put into the compost heap too thickly, they can take up to two years really to decompose. Normally, if the grass is reasonably dry and the ground's firm enough, I use a ride-on mower and actually mow up the leaves because then you get some grass cuttings in it which really help those leaves to decompose more efficiently. And what I do is I save all my old fertiliser sacks and I turn them inside out because they're less obtrusive when they're stored in the garden like this. And then I load the leaves into them. And it's surprising how many leaves you can actually get into one of these sacks. And the fact that when you rake them up, there's a few wet grass cuttings and maybe the odd bit of moss, really helps to lock in the moisture and help them to decompose. Bags like this already have a few air holes up the side. And that's quite important that there's a little bit of air getting in there, but not too much. And if those leaves are dry when you pack them in, just have the watering can handy moisten them slightly. Then when you've got the bags full, tie them up, stack them up behind the shed or in a quiet corner of the garden and leave them there. And in a year's time, you should have some really, really nice leaf mould mulch to spread onto your bread, beds and borders in autumn. And then hopefully the earthworms will do the business, drag that mulch down into the garden over the winter months.